What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on the S10 Plus Android 8.1 TV box. So the Android 8.1 TV boxes have finally arrived. I have a whole bunch of them, so you will see at least one a week. It has some very unique and rare features which we probably have not seen before in an Android TV box. So as usual we begin with a quick unboxing followed by our full performance tests including 4K videos, gaming benchmarks and we'll see how it compares in our top TV box performance chart comparing it to other Android TV boxes. So the specs are on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. So the CPU is the RK3328 quad core running at 1.5 GHz. The GPU is the Mali 450 with 4 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. You got single band Wi-Fi with no Bluetooth. This is running Android version 8.1 Oreo. This supports 4K at 60 frames per second, supports HLG and HDR10 and HDMI version 2.0A. So this is everything you get in the box beginning with the user manual. We have an HDMI cable a UK power adapter, remote control and last but not least the brand new S10 Plus. So here it is people, a very nice colourful design. Now what's unique about this box is you have a wireless charging pad on the top. I've never seen that before in a TV box so while you're watching your favourite program or sports or movies you can just Put your phone on top and it will start charging so that's quite an interesting feature a bit of innovation there i'm not sure how useful it's going to be until i test it for myself now at the front you've got infrared for your remote control on the side we've got a micro sd card slot a usb 3 port and a standard usb 2 port so good to see usb 3 on this box we've got a network lan an optical out port hdmi AV port and also your power socket. If we keep going you've got two further standard USB 2 ports and also a reset hole. So that brings us back to the front and this is what the bottom of the TV box looks like. So we've got quite a compact and colourful design here and to give you an idea of the size I'm going to bring in my new daily driver the Xiaomi Mi Box. So this is how they look side by side. If I place it on top you can see the Mi Box is much smaller and in thickness the S10 appears to be thicker. So before I begin testing this TV box let's first of all test out the wireless charging pad. So plug the power in. So the blue light is on. So we've got power on this TV box. Here is my S8. I've got the UAG case on. I'm going to leave that on. I'm going to place this on top and we're going to see if this works. Look at that people. It actually supports fast charging. Amazing. So I am very impressed not only is this a wireless QI charger for your compatible smartphones but this actually supports fast charging and I can just place this on top while watching my favorite movie or TV show and I know my phone will be charging super fast. So without further ado let's get this connected to my TV and capture card and find out how good this TV box really is. I'll be right back. So first of all I ran a boot up speed test and this TV box took 27 seconds to fully load the home screen from a cold start. So here is the home screen for this Android 8.1 Oreo TV box. We have a completely new look and all the icons and shortcuts you can see are fixed and cannot be changed. On the far right hand side we have a small column of icons which are your recently opened apps. Now let's have a quick look at system settings. So this box has 32 gigs of internal storage from which there are 27 gigs free to use. And if we have a quick look in about, you will see that this is running the latest Android version 8.1 Oreo. Now let's have a look at the system apps. Here are all the apps available on the system as standard. You have quite a few popular apps to get you started, including the full version of the Google Play Store, giving you access to thousands of free games and apps. Furthermore, you also get AirPin Pro and Miracast, which means you should be able to Miracast your Android and iOS devices. So I tested out Miracast with my Samsung Galaxy S8 and it was fast and easy to connect. I was able to mirror my S8 screen with no lag or issues at all. Thereafter I opened AirPin Pro and tested out AirPlay with my iPhone 7 and as you can see that also worked very well. I was able to mirror my iPhone screen with no lag or issues at all. So happy to see that this box will give you screen mirroring for both Android and iOS devices. So now I'm going to play some 4K video samples from a USB drive. So let's go ahead and play the first video.
So that was 4K videos from a USB drive which did not go too well. So let's go ahead and try a 1080p clip. So now let's move on to the YouTube test. So you can stream a maximum of 1080p videos on YouTube. So let's go ahead and play the first video. What are the most important questions in the world? Is there a God? And there's still no money. We need more output. You, you could write. My school's still Because when I ask you out, it's going to be the most important moment of my life. And I just want to make sure that I get it right. Ready to go? Yeah, I guess. Moving on now to the gaming performance test. So now it's time to check out the results for some various tests including DRM, Wi-Fi and benchmarks. So in the Antutu benchmark test we got a score of 35k so let's see how that compares with the others. So here is my top performing Android TV box chart for 2018 showing you all the latest Android TV boxes and seeing how they compare with each other. So the new S10 Plus has taken position 37 on this chart, which is quite expected for the Rockchip 3328. So you can view all my latest charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. So there you have it guys, that was the new S10 Plus. So we have another Rockchip TV box and this one has a very unique feature, a fast wireless charging pad on top. And I have to say, I actually like that feature. It works very well. Bottom line, this is a 1080p Android Oreo TV box. You have a fast and easy to use home screen. This box handles 1080p very nicely, plays basic games and supports USB 3 5.1 surround sound and has all the connectivity options you could ask for. However, the letdowns and possible deal breakers, you have Netflix 480p Max, single band Wi-Fi, no Bluetooth, and this box cannot do 4K. Meanwhile, this is the only TV box that would give you a wireless fast charging pad on top. And with that being said, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. That's all for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one, guys.